So uh, today we are going to discuss the following refrigeration and air conditioning uh, equipment. Um, this uh, equipment are the basic uh, equipment for the refrigeration and the air conditioning system. And uh, we have uh, touched, we have uh, discussed uh, some of this uh, during our uh, classes before. Uh, yung compressors, then condenser, expansion valve, ev evaporators. So those are the the basic parts of the refrigeration system. Actually, there are others, so many, so many valves, fans, blowers, uh, those pumps. No, but the basic, because we are in academic uh, community, we are only taking up the very basic. No, but when you go to the industry, when you go to the to the plant, for example, ice plant or refrigeration plant, you don't see only four. No, for example, uh, we are only taking up. Uh, the heart of the system is the compressor, then it goes to the to the condenser, then expansion valve, and evaporator. Those are the minimum basic. Now, just understand the the principle of refri refrigeration. But actually, when you go to the to the actual plant, you will be surprised. You will be amazed because uh, it's a lot more compl complicated. But we are in academic institution. So we are just uh, considering the, the, the very basic no, of uh, the, the equipment. So now uh, we are going to discuss this, uh, the problems in uh, compressors and uh, evaporators and uh, so on. Okay, uh, before we do that, before we do that, uh, I just want to show you the some of the, the equipment. No? Some of the equipment, uh, so that you can see the 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 actual. So let let me <clears throat> browse my my computer, my desktop. Kita ba ay, class, can you see my, my screen? Can you see my screen, class? Hello? Yes, sir. Mm. So, this is a, a captured image of uh, the compressor. No? So, yung dinodrawing natin, we are drawing the compressor like a circle and there's a rectangle on the top. Very, very far. It's very far from the actual. So, the, the compressor in the actual is far more complicated, no? very complicated thing. Uh, this this one. Now, so let me show you the the other, uh, because I I put uh, some uh, images so that we can uh, be benefit uh, from it. My compressor Japan. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So kita nyo ba? Can you see the the screen? My screen, class. Hello. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So, uh, le okay. D let me discuss this. So there is there is this compressor from Japan. The the brand is Mycom. Maybe the shortcut for my compressor. But it's a very uh very popular compressor worldwide. No. So as you can see from the nameplate, there is Mycom. What type of uh, compressor is this? Can you see from the screen? What type? Piston bato or Vane, ano ba to? Kung nakikita niyo sa screen. What type of uh, compressor is this, class? Screw compressor. Screw, no? So uh, my my point here is this, yan? So there are different types of compressors, screw compressor, vane compressor, piston compressor. So those are the types of compressor. So as you can see from the nameplate, there is a serial number. There's a model. Then there's a leak. Leak. Uh, I mean that the pressure in leak is 313 psi gauge. You know this yeah, pounds per square inch gauge. The one that you can see the pressure or the number that you can see the numerical number you can see from the gauge. Yung sa metro may 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 metro siya, no? So kung gusto mong absolute, ipa plus mo yung 14 14.7, no? So gauge pressure is actually the pressure you can see. Dun sa gauge mismo. 
sa metro, no? Ng pressure. Then there's a hydraulic or yung mismong fluid niya is 470. No? So you can see the the the, the pressure here. And the, it's made in uh, Japan, no? So there are others there are others uh, there are other compressor. Let me just uh, put one one more. So you can see here the 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 ammonia compressor. No, it's very very complicated. It's a, it's a complicated uh, um, machine, and uh, there are different kinds of. This one is a uh, um, what do you call this uh, compressor ammonia. No, so for the ammonia refrigerant. So let let us type the that portion. The the the, the most famous is my my com. Mycom, Mycom compressor. Yeah, so you can see here the the Mycom compressor. Let me just uh, uh, show to you one. Yeah, Mycom. Yeah, so it's in it's an international compressor, uh, as you can see here. No, so this an international compressor. The 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 brand is Mycom no so look look at this uh Mycom screw compressor two stage no uh first stage and then again it, it will be compressed for, for the 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 next stage no so so you know mga uh refrigerant no meron ding ang competitor niya ay Bits to Bitser Bitser tapos yung GEA tapos meron ding mga alsto marami no so but, but this one is the the most famous for the so for the screw compressor so my my point here is that the, this uh, is far more complicated than the one we are studying uh, it's very complicated compared to the diagram that we are studying so let, let us let us uh, pull this out so that we can see the the parts Late pala. My com. Oh, mal masyadong maliit na. Nasa, i-ano lang natin. Eto. Eto. Kung, kung gusto niyong makita yung mga parts, nandiyan naman, no? So, i-ano ko sana. Yan. Yan. So, look at this. This is the, the, the compressor. Uh, let me just... Um, uh, discuss some of the parts yeah and then we will discuss the specification no? so that we will we can uh, appreciate no so this one is what so discharge valve unloading by suction valve no so you know the 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 compressor like pump has two valves yeah one is discharge and the other is suction no so the other one is discharge yung lalabasan and then uh, the other one is suction so my relief valve Ibig sabihin, pag sobrang pressure, the, the excess pressure will be relieved relieve in the relief valve. No? All flooded shaft, then high tensile strength ductile iron uh, crankshaft. No? Eh, kasi engine, di ba? Normally, yung, 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 yung compressor is like an engine. Now, my question is, ano ang nag-drive sa compressor class? Ano? Motor. Motor, di ba? Motor. Motor pwede ring engine. Kung, kung wala kang kuryente or, or nagtitipid ka sa kuryente or merong ka talagang ano na engine, yung engine, yung engine ng sakyan like yung mga yung mga Fuso, Mitsubishi or mga yung mga malalaking na uh, 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 mga 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 engine, ikokopol mo dito. Pag kinokopol mo dito, ano yung nasa baba? Ano yung nasa baba? Crankshaft, di ba? So yung crankshaft, doon naka-attach yung piston. Naka-attach yung piston connecting rod, ito. Nakikita ba class? Yung connecting rod, 'di ba? Ito 'yon. Naka-attach 'yon sa crankshaft, yung pinaka-mata niya. Tapos ito yung piston, yung pinaka yung pinaka yung pinaka cylinder niya, 'di ba? Ito yung cylinder, ito yung piston, ito yung connecting rod. So ito yung sa technical term, ito yung bore, no? Bore diameter. Then, yung length niya, stroke, ang tawag doon, mula doon sa top dead center, papunta sa bottom dead center. Yung, yung highest uh, linear stroke, 
no na na pwedeng maabot ng travel ng uh, ng piston no ng piston kasi sa bottom dead top center papuntang the uh, top dead center ngayon let us go uh, immediately doon sa mga sa mga specs no so that you will know how to read specifications so ano yung mga specifications what are the specifications of a compressor no in this case this is a uh, uh, screw compressor no so type open type uh, reciprocating ay reciprocating pala to no na, na, na piston no mayakawa mayakawa is the the uh, fa uh, manufacturer of mycom no so ngayon tinan niyo to you know powerful industrial quality and designed specifically for use with R22 so bawat compressor meron silang specific na na refrigerant nakita niyo kanina we see a while ago that there's there are those compressors specifically designed for ammonia this one is specifically for R22 no refrigerant 22 so my, my i think my our point here is just to familiarize ourselves with the specification no so type an type open type reciprocating kasi hindi naman siya screw pala no so this uh, my mycom gumagawa siya ng iba't ibang klase ng compressor see it is manufacturing different compressors and in this case reciprocating so pag sinabing reciprocating alam mo na yon pist uh, ano yon no yung piston type kasi yung screw hindi naman nagre-reciprocate yung screw di ba umiikot yon no so di tito uh, ang tinat ang sinasabi rito ay reciprocating ibig sabihin yung piston going forward and reverse now number of cylinder different types no 4 6 8 kaya ang model niya ay 4k 6k tsaka 8k normally sa mga engine they are using k k k no so here four cylinders, six cylinders and eight cylinders para din siyang ano, para din siyang engine, no? So cylinder uh ito. Uh, if if I ask you, ilang cylinder meron diyan sa picture class? Ilang cylinder 'yan? Isa lang. Tingnan niyo yung number, tingnan mo yung number ng connecting rod tsaka ng piston. Ito tingnan mo, 'di ba ito rod? Nakikita ba to? Ito kasi pin, kinat kinat, 'di ba kinat to? Alam niyo yung cut away view? Pag uh, kinat away view mo parang section, no? Ilan to? Ilang ilang rad ang nakikita mo? Class. Ilang piston niyan? Hello, ilang piston to? Oh, nawala na. Nakikita ba hindi? Ah, uh, Bjorn, ilang piston to? Ilang piston 'yan? Nakikita mo? Ilang connecting rod? Nakikita mo ba yung piston? Eto ito, itong parang baso na to. Apo. Tapos eto kinat. Ilan yung connecting rod? Isa, dalawa. So pag dalawa yung connecting rod, ilan yung piston? Ilan yung cylinder? Dalawa din, di ba? Dalawa, di ba? Ito, connecting rod, may piston. Ito, connecting rod, may piston. Naka-attach sila. At the bottom, they are attached to uh, an element, machine element called crankshaft. Di ba? Para, kasi may offset to eh. Naka-offset yung mga cam niya para sa timing niya. No? Baba, taas, baba, taas. Ano, salit-salita niyan. May alternative. Tapos nandito banda yung motor. No? So, ganun yun. So, going back here, what are the other specifications for a compressor? We have this maximum speed. No? So in this case, the normal speed is 1,800 RPM. Then displacement at RPM, no? at maximum. So if, your, if your, your RPM or yung bilis mo ay 1,800, this is the displacement. When, you, when we talk about displacement, it is about volume. Yung amount ng gas 
na pwede nyo lang ma-compress at ma-discharge, no? Displacement. Anong ano noon? Anong unit that is the volume flow rate, no? Cubic meter per hour, this one, 159 239 and 316. What can you observe from the volume? As the number of uh, cylinders increases, no? Habang dumadami yung cylinders, halimbawa apat na cylinder, ang kaya niyang hangin ay 159 bawat oras. Pag anim yung cylinder mo, ano yung logic natin? Lalaki, di ba? Pag uh, anim yung cylinder, 239 cubic meter. Maalala niyo yung cubic meter, malaki yan, di ba? Di ba I, I, I stretch mo yung ano mo, yung dipa mo, I stretch mo yung kamay mo, halimbawa 1 meter hanggang sa kanang kanang balikat mo. O, oh, eto 239 no? meter cube. Meter times meter times meter ng hangin. No? Ngayon, pag walo na yung cylinder mo, 318 cubic meter ang kaya niyang higupin at ilabas per hour. No? Capacity loading, mga percent naman to, no 100, 100, and so on. Oil charge, oh, ano to? oil charge kung ilang litro ng hang, ng, ng uh, ng uh, langis ang kailangan. Bakit natin kailangan ng langis sa compressor? Ano yung purpose ng langis, class, sa compressor? Di ba may mga ref kayo? Tapos sabi pag uh, pag binubuhat natin, oh wag nyo wag nyo ano, wag nyo itumba kasi baka matapon yung langis, no? So may mga langis yung compressor and they are used for uh, lubrication. Number uh, number one purpose of uh, oil is for lubrication and the other is for cooling because uh, there's a lot of friction na no? magkikiskisan niyan kailangan natin ng langis otherwise magiging abrasive ma maano siya na no? matutuklap ma maani yung surface niya the other is for uh, lubrication no for friction no para maabit mo yung effect ng friction so ito yung litro 9 liters suction valve ano ba yung suction valve diameter to no As you can see, if you compare the suction and discharge, ano yung mas malaking diameter lagi, class? Suction or discharge? Hello? Ano yung malaking uh, diameter? Suction or discharge? Suction po, sir. Suction, di ba? Sa lahat ng design, tinan mo, eto 50. Ang discharge niya, 40. Kasi mas malaki dapat yung yung uh, yung higop. Eh pag mas malaki yung labas, baka ma-vacuum ka, no? Mas ma mas malaki yung gusto mong ilabas kaysa doon sa source mo, di ba? So magkaka-negative pressure ka doon. So tandaan nyo sa mga design, laging malaki ang suction. Ito 65 mm, no? More than 2 inches, ito 50 50, 2 inches lang, no? Kasi 25 yung yung 1 inch, no? Then ito 80, ito is 65. Then uh, ang bigat to 50 to 80 and 300 kilos no so ngayon ito yung mga length with height mga dimension natin no so pwede niyo i-download ayang mga yan no pwede niyo i-download so subukan natin i-download to automatic naman eh no yan no so na-download na natin ngayon uh, punta tayo doon sa ating pinag-uusapan ito no so compressor no nakakita na kayo ng mga ng mga compressor discuss na natin yung basic ng compressor. Now, uh, last time, I have given you different problems of compressors. And uh, we are going to discuss them. And I think, um, uh, may, kung may evaporators dito, no? but at least uh, compressors and evaporators, no, very basic yan sa refrigeration system. So here is the first problem. If you are, if you are seeing the, the, the screen, Uh, because uh, these problems are kind of uh, compilation of problems in the in the board exam. So, ibat ibang uh, application. There are different applications of uh, compressors and uh, evaporators in the in the board exam, and uh, we will see. Some of them are with the applications of thermodynamics. Some of them are in. Uh, refrigerations and air conditioning. Now, so let me read the problem. A single acting compressor has a volumetric efficiency of 87% um, operates at 500 RPM 
it takes in air at 100 kilopascal and 30 degrees centigrade and discharges it at 600 kilopascal. The air handled is 6 cubic meter per minute measured at discharge condition. If the compression is isentropic, find the following. The piston displacement per stroke in cubic meter and the mean effective pressure in kilopascal. Okay? So, let us solve this together, class. Okay. So, first, what kind of pre uh, compressor is this? In terms of uh, action. So, single acting. Okay? So, now, the question is, what is this single acting compressor? What are the characteristics of single acting compressor? So, single acting compressor, meaning the refrigerant or the gas, is acting only on one side, right? So let me draw this. So if you have uh, a cylinder, yeah, if you have a cylinder, the, the, this is the, the 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 symbol for the cylinder. So the cylinder you have two ports, no? So port. So this one is the port, and this one is the other port. Port, no? port, yung port, yung pinagkakabitan ng tornillo o ng mga hose, no? port. So the cylinder is only uh, acting in linear, no? going forward or going reverse. Now, in the, in the case of a compressor, so in the case of a compressor, diba ito yan? No? Tapos nandito yung, ano, yung mga crankshaft, diba? Crankshaft. So this is the crankshaft. And this the the piston rod rod yung stick. Ito naman yung piston, no? So ganyan. Ito yung piston. In order for you to 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 imagine, no? So this piston assembly is being housed, no? In a cylinder. Yung pinakalalagyan niya, no? Ang tawag don ay cylinder. So one single cylinder no nakita niyo dun sa micom as you can see in the micom then then um ito yung this the piston no yan single cylinder means that the action is only happening on one side meaning the the refrig the refrigerant comes here no it will it will have this no sa piston ganyan So this one is the piston, no? piston section area. Ngayon, anong, anong area? What section area does the piston have? Ano yung area niya? Ano yung ano yung ano yung ano yung section niya? Anong ano to? Anong anong figure to? Ano yung section eh, ano yung sectional area ng piston normally? Triangle ba to? Ano to? Ano yung class? Square. Square ba? Hindi. Ano? Circle, circle. di ba? So, yung circle, ano yung area ng circle? The area of the circle is what? Pi d square over 4. No? So, meron kang area meron kang pressure ng refrigerant. So, if you have a pressure at area, anong madidevelop? Anong makukuha mo? If you have pressure and area, what can you get? Nakalimutan na. 
So we have the elementary definition for pressure is force over area. So when you cross multiply this, you will get force. No? So when you multiply the pressure and the area, you will get force. And the force is just what? By elementary push or pull. So if you have the pressure from the refrigerant and the area, you will develop a force, which is push. Diba? Magpupush dyan, and then magpupull kung may spring. So pag sinabing sing single acting, isa lang, no? one side. So yung refrigerant pressure is here, and there's an area here, so the, the, the piston will go forward. But then, in the return, the, the refrigerant will not come here, no? kasi single acting lang eh. So it will be returned by either spring or other mechanism. So that's the, the meaning of the single acting compressor. Now, I'll, I'll repeat, single acting compressor is a type of compressor that the refrigerant is acting only on one side. Now, sa malinaw na, this is clear. Huh? So single acting compressor. Now, the other, the other uh, given is what? Volumetric efficiency. No? So, volumetric efficiency. So, if uh, 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 the, the, the efficiency for volumetric, for example, if you have uh, this, this uh, let us say, the, the symbol for efficiency is mu, no? mu. Yeah. So, so uh, let us say this is uh, 87%, right? If you are going to use this in computation, no, it should it should be written as 0.87 no, as decimal. Now, the other given is 500 RPM. What is that? That is the n or the speed. No, diba pina we explained a while ago that every compressor has a speed. Now, in this case, 1,800 RPM. Uh, no, now. What are the other given? What are the data known to us? So I, I believe the, the pressure and temperature is given at a specific location. No? It says it takes in. Where is this it takes in? Saan nangyayari to? Where is this happening? Saan nangyayari to, class? Suction or discharge? Suction. Suction, no? Kasi it takes in eh. So, hihigupin niya yung hangin, it takes in air at 100 kilopascal. This one, look at this, no? So, pressure, so that you will know how to learn, the, uh, to read the diagram, it takes in pressure. So, eto, no? So, dito, 100 kilopascal. It takes in pressure, at 100 kilopascal and the 30 degrees centigrade, and then it discharges, no? It discharges at 600 kilopascal. So, yung discharge niya, nandito, no? 600, ito yun, di ba? 600 kilopascal. So, have you ever wondered why at the discharge, it is uh, higher? Because it is compressor, no? So, once it compressed the air, it should increase the pressure it should increase the temperature no by by virtue of the ideal gas law so once na ang kinompress niya the output should be should be higher right from 100 to 600 not 6, six times 6 times na niya na compression volume now the air handled is 6 cubic meter per minute. Ano yung 6, cuber, 6, cuber, 6 cubic meter per minute? Yun yung volume flow rate. No? Volume of air no, that, is, uh, that is flowing per, per minute. Yeah, 6 cubic meter per minute. And then, where it is uh, red? Where is this measured? At discharge condition. So, at the discharge condition, we have this 6 cubic meter per minute. Then, the other is if the compression is isentropic. Now, uh, what is isentropic?
What is isentropic? What is isentropic class? So, isentropic. Now, from the word iso and entropy, right? So, iso means equal or constant. No, it, it doesn't change. Iso, no? Iso celeste triangle, like that, no? Entropy is the entropy, yung S natin, no? So, isentropy. Saan nangyayari yun? Ito, itong uh, compression na to, ito yan, no? Di ba? Yung, ito, itong curve na to, yan yung constant entropy line, no? So, when you, when you say isentropic, it's a constant entropy. Now, we go now to the, to the, to the required uh, parameters. What are being asked of us? The, the first that is being asked of us is this piston displacement per stroke. So, what is that? When you talk about piston displacement, no, you are talking about volume, so meter cube no, per stroke. For example, meter cube no, per minute. And this one, yeah, cubic meter. So, cubic meter or meter cube is just the same, but per time. No? Per time, for example, per minute or per hour, per stroke. Per stroke. Okay? So, meaning, the volume uh, displacement is like this. Let me have this, yeah. So, here, the piston displacement, yeah. So, for example, this is the engine, right? And this is the cylinder, right? Yeah. So, this is the engine. So, this is the bottom dead center. This is the top dead center. So, this one, di ba, aabot yung, aabot yung, yung piston mo dyan. Di ba, aabot yung piston mo dyan. So, ito yung parang effective, ano niya, no? Yung length para masakop niya yung yung magkaroon siya ng volume no so i-project mo to i-project mo yan so nandito yung crankshaft yan so this is the crankshaft so this one ito yung piston may clearance diyan na no? clearance volume so nasa taas di ba eto may may konting clearance but this one is the rod no? yan so this is the rod ito yung piston okay so what the piston does is here no pupunta siya from top dead center down to here no kung saan yung effective uh, stroke niya no this is the strength uh, the, the the length of stroke so if i may use another another color so that you will be more clear from the here na kung ito yung ito yung top niya top dead center maga travel this will travel up to here no so for example up to here yan or here yeah so yung volume na na occupy niya yung volume this volume uh, that the piston will occupy is the called is called piston displacement no? in any engine whether gasoline or compressor or diesel engine that is this yeah? so pupunta yung yung piston mo pababa then going up going down then going up why because that's the motion of the piston because piston is reciprocating, right? So, going up and going down. So, the volume that the piston uh, occupies when it goes down and goes up is called the displacement, no? piston displacement. No? The other one is mean effective pressure. That's the average uh, pressure that the, the piston is having. Now, once you get the, the volume displacement, uh, you, uh, you can get the pressure, okay? So now, um, what is the formula for the mean effective pressure? So the formula for the piston displacement, we will know later. There's a, the, the, uh, I think there's a thermodynamic formula for that, and there's, there's a general formula for that. Now, but let me discuss the mean effective pressure. So pressure, pressure, no, mean effective, no, or a P, 
P P N E no mean effective pressure or M E P. The others are just saying M E P, mean effective pressure. No, but this one, pressure is what? How do you define the the pressure? Hmm. So how do you how do you get the pressure? So you can see that the pressure later is here. No, so the the pressure is just uh can be computed now with the uh with this formula no so work is pv no? let me discuss uh, so that you, later you will be kind of uh, clear about this no so if this is the pressure the work of compression work net is pressure times volume we can uh, validate this formula by checking the units what's the unit of pressure so in metric newton per square meter so newton per square meter is also the one called pascal now from bless pascal now uh, the derived unit uh, is um, uh, i mean uh, is accorded to his his name pascal now what is the unit of volume volume cubic meter cubic meter no so what is that no what will happen to this meter square meter only no so newton meter and that's the unit of work not joule so newton meter is joule joule no at a joule from james prescott joule no so you have the joule which is a unit of uh, work or energy right so joule is a unit of energy when you divide joule per second it, it becomes watts okay now if you have this formula what's the formula for p p the formula for p is work net over what volume volume no so this one is work net sabi natin newton meter yeah newton meter Ito naman ay meter cube. So, cancel. One, one unit of meter will be cancelled. One will be cancelled. What will be left is newton per square meter. And what is newton per square meter? Here. Pascal. No? So, yung pascal, yun yun. Okay? So, we discuss uh, the mother or uh, uh, the formula that we are going to, to use. Okay? So now we go to the solution. All the given we already discussed. So we have a single acting compressor, meaning only acting on one side, the, the gas, in this case the refrigerant. We have the efficiency, which is 0.87. And then we have a pressure one, which is on the low side, no? 100 kilopascal. We have a discharge, meaning already a compressed uh, gas at a higher pressure, 600 kilopascal. We have a uh, temperature at the inlet no at the uh, taking air means inlet 30 why it becomes uh, 303 because we have to change it to absolute we have to add 273 to become kelvin right why kelvin because in uh, dealing with ideal gas we always use absolute units so 30 plus 273 is 303 now this is the pressure for the discharge okay so now, if the kind of problem is like this, uh, this is more on the third thermodynamic. Yeah? So you have to know the, the different formula for the isentropic. The, the key here is this. Yeah? The compression is isentropic. So when you go to the formula, for example, in your, in your uh, thermodynamics 1 or thermodynamics 2, you, you should get the formula for isentropic compression. So isentropic compression will give you this, yeah. So T two over T one equals P two over P one n minus one over n. No, so this is the the the, the formula. No, so there are many formulas. You know, it's it's your duty as students to really memorize this. No, so substituting values, what is our pressure at two, or the discharge pressure six hundred? What is our pressure at the inlet hundred kilopascal and we have to substitute only the the values no so n n is the the constant no or k 
no some are using k the k for the for the gas or or air is 1.4 now because it was not mentioned here what is the gas no so if there's no mention of gas we are assuming it is air okay so if you search for the air the the constant uh, for air is 1.4 now some are using n or some are using k no so but this this is the the k constant for uh for the uh for the for the air right 1.4 so all you have to do is to substitute values and you should multiply the t1 right this one but cross multiplication t1 so you will have this so meaning the temperature at the point 2 which is the discharge is 505 i told you when the temp the, when the pressure goes up from 100 to 600 the temperature also goes up now because that is by virtue of charles law now, the, the, as the temperature increases the pressure also increases so here is 30 degrees centigrade when you compress isentropically you compress the 30 degrees centigrade becomes what according to our calculation oh, sorry what is that 505.56 kelvin no so you just uh, have to uh, minus 273 now so 505 kelvin from what kelvin is this 303 so from 303 kelvin at the suction it becomes 505 from 100 at the suction it becomes 600 now because it's already compressed so once we know the temperature too we have another uh, relation this one yeah so v1 over v2 equals t2 over t1 1 over n minus 1 no so these are the formula for isentropic compression all we have to do is to uh, get the missing values why because volume at 1 we don't know no because what is given is i think the 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 data at the at the discharge right the flow rate six cubic meter per minute at discharge no meaning at point two but we are <coughs> sorry we are in uh, we have to know the uh, the parameters in point one so all we have to do is to substitute no so how do we get the v1 we just cross multiply no so v1 t2 minus t1 we already have t2 P2 is 505 degrees Kelvin. I, I mean Kelvin. P1 is 303. Then uh, multiplied by V2, uh, volume 2. Uh, first, we have to, to, to substitute value. So 1 over N minus 1. So N is 1.4. No? So uh, we just plug in. No? And then uh, the, the other one is V2. Where, where, did, where did we get the, the, the V2? So the uh, the V2 is given, right? The the air handled here, the air handled at the discharge. So mino, meaning this is V2. V1 is what we are trying to seek to search. No? So we, when we go back here, so V1 is this and this one is V2, meaning volume 2, 6 cubic meter per minute now so we will have a mass flow rate of air at the discharge which is 21.576 meter cube per minute yeah so meter cube per minute now so v2 and v1 we already have t2 and t1 we already have okay so once we have this what will happen we can uh, use the formula for the ideal gas now so P1, V1 equals M, yeah? So, because we have this uh, general formula, uh, PV equals M, R, T. So, P1, V1, mass 1, T1. What is R? Plus, what is R? What kind of constant is R? Yes. Uh, anong, anong constant to? Universal gas constant no, of air. Yeah, so 
we have P1. Ano yung P1 natin? What is our P1? Here, no? 100. B1, we already computed to 1.576. M, we do not know M. Yeah? R, no, sa 1, na 1. Sa, sa suction, we do not know M. R is a constant, no? So, this is a constant we can get from anywhere, from internet, from books, everything. T1, we already have T1. Where is our T1? Given, right? 30, 30 degrees centigrade, which is 300. Ito. Kasi nag-add tayo ng 273. We add, we add 273, naging 300. So, all we have to do is to plug in. P1 is this. V1 is that, no? Then R is universal, no? 0.28708. P, 300, no? Kelvin. So, we will have 24.8 kilogram per uh, minute, no? So, yung 24.8 kilogram per minute is the, the, uh, ano to? The discharge. Now, if we go here, we, we will get the, uh, the general formula is the efficiency. Efficiency is this, right? So, V1 over VD, right? So, V1 meaning volume at the suction, then volume at the discharge, no? So, volume at the discharge. So, volume discharge, what is our volume at the discharge? V1 over efficiency. So, V1 is what? What is our, I, V1, mass 1, no? Uh, what to? Uh, 21, no, B1, 21.576, so 21.576, ito yon V1 over efficiency, 0.87. So, pag uh, inanong mo yan, we will have this, no, 24.8 meter cube per uh, minute, no, ano-ano ba yung pina, 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 ano? what is being asked is per minute, no, per per stroke, cubic meter per minute per stroke. No? So we have here, because uh, we have a given of 500 uh, revolution per minute. So 500 revolution per minute, uh, we, we are given, no? a five, we are given 500 revolution no? per minute. Uh, so, we have to cal calculate that uh, by converting this. Yeah? So, revolution per minute, minute and minute will be cancelled. So, for every revolution, there is this. No? Because rev, no? 500 revolution, uh, because what is being asked is per stroke. Right? Per stroke. So, stroke. Is this, yeah? So, one stroke, yeah? Once the, the piston moves from from uh, top dead center to bottom dead center or bottom dead to top, top center, uh, it depends on what is the initial condition. So, this is the amount of air or gas, no? Per revolution, okay? So, you just have to divide this, uh, this uh, volume with this... Uh, 500 uh, revolution per per minute. Yeah, for every revolution, this is the amount of gas or air. No? 0 0.0496 per stroke or per revolution. So now we go now immediately now because the time is running out for the mean effective pressure. Now as a review, work net. No, I mean work of compression in trabajo. Now the job of compression is pressure times volume which is newton per square meter times meter cube so meter square will be cancelled only newton meter no? that is the energy or work yeah but we are not being asked of work we are asked of pressure uh, pressure so pressure is work over volume right so work is newton meter and this one is meter cube so meter then meter square now so newton per meter square and that is pressure yeah so mean meaning average ethion now so here what we're go what we are discussing is this right so here so this is the formula work net over bt yeah work net over 
volume displacement. That is it. Yeah. So work net, we have to get the work net. No. So work net is what? Work net. What are the what are the variables in charge in the work net? Pressure and volume. You know, so in the ideal gas formula, PV equals MRT. So this one is work net. No? So also PV. So work net is PV equals MRT. Then, so at this one, you know, so MRT, right? No? So this is the work net, MRT. We are talking of the condition in one. P1 this one is K minus 1 over K no? because it's isentropic. Then this one uh, is the, the, the pressure. Yeah? So P2 over P1, K minus 1 over K minus 1. So this is pretty much the, the formula. So we have to substitute value so that we can get the work net. No? So when we substitute, all are given, right? The K is 1.4 for the ideal air. Uh, M is there. M. Then R. Mass is there. Uh. M is here. Then here is the R. Gas constant. This is the T1 in the Kelvin. Then this is K minus 1. Then this is the pressure 2 minus pressure 1. Discharge pressure. Suction pressure. This is the, the, the net or the K. No? 1 minus 4, 1.4 minus 1 over 1.4 because it's isentropic compression. So we will have this 5047 kilojoule per minute, right? So we will have this uh, kind of uh, work net, yeah, or, or power, yeah, because it's, it's uh, in terms of time. But you can, you can solve this, now you can solve this now when you divide this by revolution because what is being asked of us is this right uh, the mean effective uh, pressure right so here is the the so-called work net no work net uh, it's already there so all we have to to do is work net is PV right so we have the work net we need a pressure no mean so we divide this by volume we divide this by volume, okay? So this is work net, right? This is uh, work net, work net, this is the volume, right? So work over volume, 0 0.0496. Now we have this 0 0.0496 from the previous uh, calculation, this one, right? Volume. So work over volume is this, right? So let me erase. So this is work, yeah. So work net, no, from the ideal gas law. This one, and this one is the volume, yeah. So volume discharge, no, is this, no. So we will have now this two zero three point fifty two six eight nine four kilo pascal. So revolution and the revolution will be cancelled. Then kilo joule is this kilojoule per meter cube is also equal to kilo newton meter over meter cube okay so meter and one meter here will be cancelled what will be left is meter squared so kilo newton per square meter is kilo pascal which is the pressure the mean effective so pressure the pressure mean effective so we have the 203.52 kilopascal okay so those are the kind of uh, compressor problem that can be found in some of the uh, board exam now it's more on theoretical so um, what what else What else do we want? So only one. I'll make it very fast because we started a bit late because we are waiting for other students. Now, so we have to to to
consider another can, can we have this yeah so let us have this because this is uh, quite short no? very short uh, problem so that uh, we can uh, discuss uh, the compressor completely and then next uh, meeting uh, we will discuss the other refrigerant equi refrigeration equipment now so here a three by three single acting double cylinder ammonia compressor first what is this three by three What is three? Three bore by and stroke. bore and stroke. Now, so when you see this, when you see this, this is a bore and this one is a stroke. So what is bore? Bore is this, right? Bore. Yeah. So you have to study where the, the words are coming. Bore is the diameter, right? Diameter of the piston. Okay. Then stroke. Stroke is the length of the rod, right? Up to this. So this is the stroke so the other the other configuration is d diameter and l okay d l diameter and stroke now it is fit here because it is in the english no english foot pound pound no? so three by three they are talking about feet now why because the the other units are in english right pound pound so when you see pound a pound yeah Pounds, foot, those are the combinations. Yeah? So 3 by 3, meaning here 3 inches, right? So 3 inches and then the, the stroke is the stroke is uh, uh, also inch. So this is a boring stroke and then double cylinder. So now it's a double cylinder. So how many cylinder class? How many cylinder? How many? What is double? Two, right? So double cylinder is meaning two. Ammonia, what kind of refrigerant uh, is this? Or what kind of gas it is compressing? Ammonia, NH3. Or in uh, refrigerant term, if you, are in, if you are studying refrigeration, you would know that this is R700 series. Yeah? R717, R707. Yeah? Ammonia is R700 series, right? To run at a 400 RPM with the condensing pressure of 135 uh, pounds gauge, pressure is 135 pounds gauge, and evaporator of 15 pounds gauge. Assuming a volumetric efficiency of 80, determine the capacity of the compressor. So here is the problem. So we will so solve this uh, very fast. So, uh, we let, let us go first to the given or the known data. What are the data or what are the information known to us, class? So, we were told, we know that this bore or the diameter is the same as the length of its stroke, right? Diameter and the length is equal and that is 3 feet. Is this, is this 3 feet or inches? 3 feet. I think it is in case. Uh, anyway, uh, let, let, let us uh, consider it is uh, feet. No? But if you consider this as feet, it must be very large. Yeah? Because one foot, class, one foot is 12 inches. So if you say three feet, that is 36 inches. No? So what kind of compressor is 36 inches? A very, very big. No? So anyway, uh, we'll just um, argue on the on the on the dimension later no because i think it, it is not so if it, if it is the case i i would rather replace this as three feet yeah because if you if you solve this as feet we just put as feet foot yeah uh, but but in the reality it is a very big compressor no because 36 inches is a very big compressor maybe the compressor in the ship or very big factory yeah? anyway the the given is this the same bore and stroke yeah so if this three feet this is three feet okay now the pressure at the pressure at the condensing side is 135 and the pressure at the evaporating is 15 yeah so you always see that the evaporating pressure it's low now always lower 
than the condensing. Condensing is high side, high pressure side, no? High pressure side. That is uh, that should always be inculcated in our mind, no? Pressure is low side. Condensing is high side. So pressure has low uh, pressure, and uh, I mean the the evaporator has low pressure, and the condenser has high higher pressure, no? Then of course uh, uh, here it's a it it is given maybe or assumed that K is 1.3. And the gas constant is this. So all you have to do is to plug in everything. Now, so volume is this. Now, why why is this volume? So what is volume? Area times length, right? Or area times height. So what is area? Pi d square over 4. And what is the length? No? 3 feet here, no? L. And you have to multiply how many our number of cylinder. How many cylinders do we have according to the problem? How many? How many cylinders? It is two. Yeah. So two cylinders because the one cylinder is working, you now compressing, and the other is also working and compressing. Yeah. So two cylinders. And then we have to multiply with the RPM so that we can know the, the volume per stroke or per revolution what how many stroke or how many volume discharge per revolution you know, one from top dense dead center to bottom dead center and then when it goes back yeah so all you have to do is to plug in this is the area yeah three square feet over four so basically this is the area and this is the length or height yeah so this is the area yeah then this is the length okay so we have the area of the of this and this the length no so this the area the bore d no pi d square over four then times the length okay so this is the one then uh -huh. times the rpm so that we will know how much volume is being generated or discharged no on the whole revolution no because the revolution is here for 400 rpm no so for every revolution uh, it you can get the the discharge so 500 5400 pi cubic feet per minute and then here it says 0.80 now that means 80 percent uh, uh volumetric efficiency so we just have to to multiply the discharge by 0.8 meaning it is not 100 percent efficient it is 80 percent efficient so meaning there's a 20 percent of uh, losses so you will get uh, this now the 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 volume the net volume is 0 0.8 times 5400 cubic feet per minute uh it will become less no so it is 4000 with the 80 percent it is it is becoming 4320 cubic feet per minute meaning the the volume flow rate from the original this is the original uh flow rate then uh, applying the 80%, it will just become 4,320. So when you get that, when you get that, so you can you can continue with this, no? So you will get, you will have to use some kind of table, no? So table, ter thermodynamics table. Our evaporating pressure is 15 PSI. You can convert that to kilopascal. Now 15 PSI is this, 103.421 kilopascal, no? Because here is near the atmospheric, 14.7, right? 14.7 is 101 something, 0.3 to 5 kilopascal. But here is 15, it's higher, so this must be higher. Yeah? So 103. From 101, it becomes 103. Yeah? So from the table, you can get the, the, the data no? at this uh, uh, pressure. Uh, you can get uh, the the other data, the temperature. If, if the temperature is given, you can get the pressure. So we just have to substitute uh, values now from the interpolated. Now you can use the interpolation. So you can plug in here. So we have the temperature and then the pressure. So you will get the temperature at the uh, evaporator. So when you get the temperature at the evaporator, this is it. Yeah. So temperature at the evaporator then you can convert this into run kind right? because the absolute uh, pressure uh, temp uh, temperature for the imperial or english unit is run kind no? imperial so what is this 
degree Fahrenheit plus 460 equals Rankine. But in Kelvin, it is centigrade plus 273. So knowing all this, we can substitute the values. So we have P, no? So we have P, 15 pounds per square inch, this, this, right? Then uh, this one, uh, V, what is V? We already compute this. Now this is uh, V1, uh, no? After the 80%, no? Net effective. Then uh, this one is 12 inch uh, conversion, yeah? 12 inch is one foot, okay? Then this one is 90.73 uh, foot pounds per pound run kind. This is a gas constant, yeah? R, gas constant. Now R is gas constant. And then this one is T, 431. This one, yeah? T, T at evaporator, yeah? So T is the temperature at the evaporator yeah so when you have this you can get the mass at the evaporator which is 748.0934 pounds so what is being asked assuming a volumetric efficiency of 80 percent determine the capacity of the compressor so the capacity of uh, the, the the compressor in terms of mass is uh, this uh, this much now so uh 748.0934 uh, okay so there are other there are other um problems i think you can you can uh, you can have this now by yourself now or we will continue discussing this on thursday okay so at least we were able to discuss uh, two problems uh for the compressors on on, on thursday we are going to discuss uh, evaporators okay so i think uh, that's all for today class uh, for discussing the compressor part of this uh, slides and next meeting we are going to discuss the part of evaporator as we discuss the full portion or the total i mean the general topic of uh, um, equipments no equipment in refrigeration and air conditioning so thank you very much and have a good morning